Hello friends, this is compiler design assignment to conducted by NPTEL. Coming to question number one. At a time, an NFA can be. What is NFA? Non-deterministic finite automata. It is considered as non-deterministic. Why? Because on a particular state, on a particular state, on a particular input, it may move to more number of states, more than one state, like state one, state two, state three are many number on the same input. If it is moving to more than one state from a particular state on the particular input on the same input then it is ambiguity that it has to move to either to state 1 or state 2 or state 3. This is that's why the name called non-deterministic. Non-deterministic means it is not able to determine the correct state that it has to reach on a particular input. That is what the name called non-deterministic. So that NFA can be in many states at a time a dfa what is dfa in dfa d indicates deterministic deterministic in the sense on a particular state from a particular state on a particular input we can able to determine which state it has to perform a transition either state b suppose on a particular input it can able to determine which state it has to move like something like state c it can able to determine means on a particular state on a particular input always it is required to have only single transition we call only single state question number three between nfa and dfa which can has the potential to have more states in more states in here dfa is having more states when compared with nfa why because if we have non-determinism representing the language is easy with less number of states if I convert that NFA into DFA, it may require more than the number of states of NFA. So that we can call potentially DFA is having more number of states, not NFA. Question number four. Which of the following is a lexical analysis tool? What is for lexical analysis? It is going to scan the source program from left to right and divide the program into tokens. This is done by a tool called Lex tool which is available in Unix operating system. Nowadays we also have Flex and JFlex for the similar task. So Lex, Flex, JFlex all are representing the lexical analysis. So answer is option D. Output of Lex program is available in a file named. See if I wanted to identify a particular tokens that specifications we have to write in a program called lex.l because it is a lex program it is having an extension called lex.l so in the lex.l we have to specify what is a token what is a pattern of each token when this lex program given as input to the lex compiler then it is going to generate an output file we call lex.yy.c now this lex.yy.c is a c program which is consisting of table representation of a transition diagram along with the standard position procedures here suppose i have a token called identifier with whose pattern is represented in the form of regular expression l r l r d whole star okay so means in lex program we have to specify what is a token and what is a pattern for this now lex.yy.c what it will do is what it contains is it contains table representation of a transition diagram constructed for this regular expression so what is a transition diagram for this regular expression suppose this is an initial state on letter it is going to the final state after that it may have letters or digits any number this i have represented in the form of a table like initial state and final state we have two inputs letters and digits initial state on letter it is moving to final state initial state on from digit we don't have any transition final state on letter or digit it is moving to final states now we call it is a transition table now if token is to be identified it has to take decisions that is transitions based on the transition table that is represented in the form of a function now what lex.yy.c contains a c program which is a table representation of transition diagram constructed for the regular expressions along with the standard processes that is there in the lex.yy.c so answer for question number 5 is option b
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स नंबर ऑफ सेक्शन इन ए लेक्स प्रोग्राम इज इन ए लेक्स प्रोग्राम वी हैव थ्री सेक्शन द थ्री सेक्शन आर नेम्ड डिक्लेरेशन ट्रांसिशन रूल्स एंड एक्सलरी प्रोसीजर्स डिक्लेरेशन कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ वेरिएबल्स मैनिफेस्ट कॉन्स्टेंट्स एंड एनी अदर थिंग्स ट्रांसिशन रूल्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ वट इज अ टोकन वट इज अ पैटर्न फॉर द टोकन and procedures consisting of standard processes so that it will be used in the process of identifying the tokens so there are three sections for the lex program declarations transitions rules and auxiliary processes so answer for the question is option c question number 7 lex specifications file section lex specification file sections are demarked by so means it is represented by using two percentile symbols means each section is demarked by percentile symbols that is an option d question number 8 number of components in formal definition of a grammar is grammar is called four tuples we call v t p s what is v v is a set of non terminals and t is a set of terminals p is a production rules and s is a starting non terminal this is called a grammar means grammar should be of the form like S tends to capital A, small a, capital A tends to B like this. This is called a grammar. Now here in this grammar, what are the non-terminals? V equal to S A. We call non-terminals in the grammar are represented with capital letters. And what are the terminals? A comma B. Terminals are represented with small letters. And these are the production rules. And what is the starting non-terminal? S. That's why. the number of components in the formal definition of a grammar is 4 question number 9 in a lex specification file question mark stands for here this question mark stands for either it is zero occurrence of a symbol or just one occurrence of a symbol either zero or one now look for option a zero or more given it is incorrect zero or more it is represented with star star is representing with zero or more but in the question it is given question mark it is representing 0 or 1 option b says 1 or more 1 or more is represented with plus plus indicates either 1 or more but here in the question it is given question mark so it is wrong exactly one occurrence exactly one occurrence means only that letter is to be present only the terminal is to be present means we can call it is exactly one that's why option c is wrong so answer will be option d none of the other options question number 10 the epsilon closure of a state includes that epsilon closure says all the states reachable from it by null transitions what does it mean is suppose a on epsilon it is moving to b on b on input a it is moving to c on b on epsilon it is moving to d d likewise now what we can call epsilon closure of a it specifies with null closure we can reach to a itself because every state is null reachable we can call from a you can reach to b with null means it is null reachable means without any input from a it can move to b from b without any input it can move to d this is called epsilon closure means epsilon closure specifies all the states reachable from it means from that state by null transitions with the null transitions what are the states it can reach a b d that is an option so what does it mean all state reachable from it by null transitions only so answer for question number 10 is option a